Now, if we play this sample hand through, step by step, we should get some idea of how the bidding goes. Now, <clears throat> for purposes of identification, I'm north and my partner is south, you're east and your partner is west. Well, I won't be any good at this. I've got no sense of direction. <laughs> it's just for easy reference. Now, <clears throat> I've, I've looked at my hand, mm -hmm. and according to the book, I say one diamond because I think I can make seven tricks with diamonds as trumps. All right? All right. Mm -hmm. um, what do I say? You say one heart. One heart. Good. Very good. <laughs> now, my, um, my partner says... Why? Uh, why what? Well, why do I say one heart? Well, for the same reason I said one diamond, because you think you can make seven tricks with hearts as trumps. Now, my partner says... I thought you could only make 13 tricks. That's right, June, 13. Now, my partner Well, if you're making seven in diamonds and I'm making seven in hearts, that makes 14. <laughs> yes, yes, but, you see... Um, and there are only 13 tricks. Yes, there are only 13, that's right. But, so it can't be done? N well, n no, of course it can't. <laughs> of course it can't. Now, my... Well, then why bid it? But, but June, June we're, we're bidding against each other. Oh, we'll never get anywhere like that. <laughs> Look, why don't I settle for the six and you can have the seven? <laughs> no, no, June, June, that, that's the game, you see. We are, we are against each other. And both of us, you see, uh, him, and, him and me are against you and her. Uh, or him. I mean, I mean that, that, you see, that's your partner, West, and that's my partner, North. I thought you were North. No, I, I was North. I'm, I'm South now. Now, <clears throat> I'm South. And South says one spade. Because he thinks he can make seven tricks with spades as trumps. That's it, exactly. You're picking this up beautifully. <laughs> and that'll make 21 tricks. <laughs> no, no, look. No. I mean... Uh, look, maybe mm? we're supposed to play it with two packs of cards. <laughs> no, no, no. No, look, let me get on a bit. Things are bound to become clear later on. Now, I'm, I'm West. See? And I'm your partner, and I say... No, I, I thought you were playing against me. I was. I was. I am. Only, but only when I'm north and south. And now I'm west. Now. You cover a lot of ground in this game, don't you? <laughs> I'm, I'm only changing my position to, to make things less confusing. It's wasted effort, isn't it? I'm afraid it is rather, but now you're there. Go on. All right. Well, uh, mm, west says two clubs, and north says... Why? Well, because he, he does. I mean, you know, because it says in the book he does. But why? Well, I don't know. I'm not a flipping mind reader, am I? What does the book say? Well, it says, West wishes to show a club holding. And so bids uh, two clubs. <laughs> there you are. I don't understand. I mean, you don't have to understand. I'm the one that's learning. As long as I understand, that's all that matters. And do you? <laughs> yes, um, of course. I mean, he's, he's, he's got a club holding, hasn't he? But what is that? Well, out of the way, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm north now. I mean, ask your partner. I mean, he's the one who's got it. Now, north replies to south, two spades. You reply to west, no bid. No bid. Well done. Uh, south replies to north, two no trump. West replies to east, no big. North replies to south, three no trump. You reply to west, no bid. No bid. Well done, keep it up. <laughs> he says no bid. He says no bid. <laughs> I say no bid. So we are playing three no trump with south as declarer, and I'm the dummy. <laughs> This way, gentlemen. Why not? You know, I'm sure once you've had a good look round this flat, you'll jump on a chance to rent it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it just came off in my own. Oh, now that is strange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that has never happened before. No. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do just happen to carry a spare in case of emergency. Yeah. Uh, but wait a minute, if that doorknob comes off there, we're all going to be locked in here. 
Don't you worry, Tommy. The walls of that thing will steam our way out. Right. Right. Damp, it? Patchy. When the last time it let rain in? When it rained. In fact, it all looked damp to me. Oh, well, none of the previous tenants have ever complained. Who were they? Jack Cousteau and Flipper. <laughs> oh, that's very amusing. Mm. I do like a mug, a man with a sense of humour. What does this door lead to? The cellar. Done up next! What do you mean? <laughs> I did warn you about opening that door. Eh? Hey, another thing, that cellar's not waterproof. Oh, yes, it is. Not one drop of water in that cellar can get out. <laughs> I'm going to call my brother-in-law. He's good at dump places. I can hear the sea. <laughs> it is the sea. Don't worry about it. I'll get that phone plumbed in before you move in. Nice water up. Oh, yeah, that is brown oak. Brown oak? It's rusty metal. Oh. <laughs> yes, well, no, it did belong to the previous tenant. And by the looks of things, he's left his pyjamas behind him. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, what happened to the previous tenant? He had to leave. He had trouble with his feet. What were it? Bunions and barnacles. <laughs> <laughs> nice bit of carpet. Oh, it's lovely, Tommy. You must be joking. It's watercress. <laughs> now, if you're not really keen on renting the place, I might be persuaded to sell you the whole house and grounds for, well, say, 20,000 quid an acre. Do you mean 20 quid a gallon? <laughs> Cold, isn't it? It's freezing in here, yeah? What did the other tenant used to do for eat? He used to go and sit in the warmest place in the house. Where's that? In the fridge. <laughs> and he keep pets? As far as I'm concerned, you can keep anything. Yeah? What sort of pets would you recommend? Ducks, frogs, alligators? <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> this place is very damp! I'll tell you what, Tommy. If that hunt kill it, it might have died of pneumonia. That's right. Go and put it in the fridge, we'll have it later. OK. Ever get frozen up? Ah, they did freeze once last winter. Just once? Yes, from December to March. That's better. <laughs> Check them out. Okay, Johnny. Excuse me, please. <laughs> well, then, are you going to take this place or not? Take it? Your floorboards, it's growing watercress. Eh, not only that. Your phone squirts water. Your cellar's not waterproof. Eh? See this here? Look at this. And the door comes up the door knock. Oh, no, that has never happened before. <laughs> and your ceiling lets water in. Your mouse trap catches fish. And there's a windscreen wiper on the inside of the window. I take it you're not going to take it? Take it, I'm not going to take it. Of course I am. It's perfect for mine and Tommy's new old fur girl. Fetch her in, Tommy. She's marvellous. <laughs> that door. <laughs> and now let us welcome our first contestants. And who have we as our first guests? Ah, yes, Ball. Eric Ball. And, uh, and, uh, is she coming? Ah, yes, Denise Tatum. Uncle and niece. Which is which? <laughs> I'm the niece. Denise. Niece to see you. To see you, niece. What about they pay Barry Pryor for those hat lips? Now, it's Eric Ball, is his last. Yes, that's right, Johnny. Seems like a nice boy. <laughs> 56 years of age, you live in Lewisham, you have a weak mouth, and your hobbies are reading and dressing up as John Harrison. Yes, and I see that you're retired. No, I'm not I'm retired. Oh, oh, well, never mind. It all comes to very much the same thing, I believe. And it says here that you were with the police. Was that a career, or were you detained overnight? Oh, I was with the Boy Squad of Sing Publications. Oh, and I suppose you went around people's attics looking for porn in a trunk. <laughs> Wait for the laughter and applause to subside, and then continue. Uh, oh, no, I don't think I should have written that. <laughs> and you believe passionately in discipline and moral values. 
Yes. I'm sick of people knocking Britain. Nowadays, patriotism is a dirty word. So is bum for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> bum is a dirty word, like patriotism. <laughs> oh, quite so very astute, Dinny. Now, if you're 22 years of age, you live in Hornsey Rise with your eight-month-old eunuch. Eunuch? And I'm Jim. What an incredible name for a eunuch. Now, you work part-time in a furniture suppository, and you describe yourself as a happy housewife who's always smiling and never lets anybody get on top of her, and that's about the size of it. <laughs> size of anything to do. Oh, dear, what am I saying? Well, I think we'd better get on with our game. It's called Messy Eaters. Oh, so if you'll both get into your pennies and common liquors, I'll explain the rules of the game. As you can see, there's this huge polythene bag which is full of porridge. And that's why I call the game Goldilocks' Trip. And here's Goldie herself. Thank you, dear. Give us a twirl. <laughs> now, be very, very careful, because the operator thinks it's this terrible sharp point. Because if you touch that with it, all the porridge comes down. <laughs> that is rather droll. But let me explain. <laughs> Run up the stairs here. You take a scoop of porridge from there. You then go along very carefully along this little red brick rope, very, very careful not to actually touch that quality. You fill it into the buckets like this, and of course it's who fills which bucket after the wind. Along again you go, being very, very careful not to touch your top bar point. Another lovely big scoop of porridge from there, and again very, very, very careful, this very, very sharp, along, fill the bucket again, and so on, and so forth, and that is Goldilocks's trip game. But be awfully careful as you go because it's very sharp not to do that because that's the same. Why? I want to face the audience, I don't see you. Oh, okay. Don't start showing don't off already. Don't come any nearer then. How dare you? Well, what? I must say, I, must say I loved your introduction. To who? To me. I never heard such hypocrisy. That is very well. Doesn't he? You're getting very young. You're getting better these days, you know. Is there room for improvement? <laughs> I must answer that. I'll oh, answer that. <laughs> Lots of um, your own conscience must tell you that. Lots of listen, um, it's no, it's funny. Lots what of a funny thing, show, isn't it? Well, shut up for a minute. I'm halfway through. And Char Charlton Heston and Sheep. It's a most funny do this, isn't it? Funny do this. Because that man's a fake, you know. Who? No, no, that man was doing impersonations of sheep. There were unions. Uh, oh, shut your face! <laughs> Touch your bars. <laughs> we, we, we're, out, we're outside having a, having a glass of brandy there. He's having a bowl of mint. Mint sauce. <laughs> mint sauce. Funny man. Lots of Most peculiar. Odd. Lots of peculiar Most things. I'm sweating like a pig. Or, I don't know why. I've done nothing yet. I'll tell you something. Now listen. <laughs> don't be, don't don't be naughty. Listen. I no, look. Yes, I didn't know you could read. That surprises me. <laughs> um, uh, Russell. Uh, can I ask you something? Uh, really, seriously, you've had a uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Heston's been on. He's very articulate and the, and the sheep. But I don't take advantage of me because I'm stupid. After he's very clever, that Mr. Heston, isn't he? All those long words and everything. And uh, so don't take advantage of me because I'm stupid. I am stupid. Right. I admit I'm stupid. All right. I'm getting the same money for this show as the sheep. So I'm very stupid. <laughs> Believe me. Yes, you were saying? <laughs> you were ty trying to intrude, I Do you feel. mind if I go, uh, shall I go pop off for a drink while you're carrying <laughs> well, Yes, I will. Lots right, of yeah. peculiar... Uh, as long as I get your money, that's oh, all I'm worried about. You're obsessed I'm by... I'm going You are obsessed by money, do you know that? I'm obsessed by not getting any money. <laughs> Don't mind, come on, Russell. You're Lots of looking very... Yes, so you're looking better these days. <laughs> so, not no, nothing, you haven't done No. I tell you why, no, I tell you why, I, I saw... No, you are looking better. Because I, I did notice in the corridor as you come through, there's a... I'm talking, excuse me, I'm talking to the studio audience. There's a... 
The signs are up. The signs are up. It says bar, uh, canteen, makeup, and surgery. Which have you been to? <laughs> The bar? Mary chronologise about your life. Oh! <laughs> I've never been so... Well, once yeah. I was, but never mind. <laughs> Not since...